Okay, hi. By the time this video is uploaded, it will have officially been a year since I started YouTube. Wow. My first video was uploaded December 28th, 2019, and it was a 400 star montage, which we don't talk about. So after that first upload, I got like 15 subscribers, which, you know, that's like for starting youtube that's a pretty good amount so i don't know i felt motivated to keep going with it 15 subscribers before my second upload which is now privated because i hate it a lot and you know i just kind of went with it i wasn't actually expecting to get anywhere with youtube and there's actually a lot of stuff that went into my thought process for doing youtube but I'll get to that a little later. But like over this past year, I've come so far in terms of like the online world. Like I have 11,000 subscribers, which is crazy not expected at all. I am a random as far as things go and then now the fact that some people actually know me, it's kind of scary, you know? And also I'm like 760 stars now. The good thing about making a montage, my first thing was that it would kind of show where I started and like man, I've gained over 350 stars. That's a a lot for me, you know? I didn't really want to set a sub goal for myself when I started YouTube for like the end of the year, you know? Because I started at the very end of 2019 and I could have set like a sub goal for the end of 2020, but I didn't set an actual goal because I was afraid I wouldn't reach it. But like my internal goal, which I told nobody, was to reach 100 subscribers. And you know, I surpassed that by a bit and it's definitely shocked me a lot. So overall, YouTube's been really amazing for me. I don't regret doing it whatsoever. A lot of great things have come from doing it. Like some of my closest online friends I've met because of YouTube. Not necessarily through YouTube, but because of YouTube. And like also tech-wise, I've learned a lot. Like I've learned how to edit kind of because if you haven't noticed i kind of like editing and that's why i make those kind of edit things occasionally and then i figured out how to record and stuff i just learned that i really like to learn how to make stuff or figure stuff out like i've figured a lot of things out for myself like making the thumbnails and stuff. I didn't really watch a tutorial for any of that, so. On top of that, YouTube's also helped a lot with my confidence. I'd say I'm pretty insecure about a lot of things. For example, my voice. When I first started, I despised it just because it sounds so different on recording than it does in my head, and I like the voice that I hear in my head a lot more than the voice that it actually is. I've learned to tolerate it because so many people, like, compliment it and i don't think my voice is that great but just the nice comments is like a reassurance that i don't sound like a complete idiot all the time i used to never ever talk in calls like if i spoke to someone in a call it was a very special occasion me voice revealing to someone was kind of unusual because i wouldn't ever talk to people now it's less unusual you know so now I'll occasionally talk with my close friends in calls rather than never talking, you know, so that's improvement. It's not that much improvement, but it's something, so I'll take it. I think something not a lot of people know. Actually, I don't think anyone knows. I was almost gonna quit YouTube at like 200 subs, which I'm glad I didn't, but yeah, I almost did that. I think at that time, my mental health was really iffy and I was really demotivated. I think I was in school at this time too, so I was a little on the busier side, even though like it wasn't, school wasn't that hard but I didn't have the most time ever. I didn't really know what I was doing with my life when I was doing YouTube at that time. I was just kind of doing it for no reason. Well, it felt like no reason. I felt like I was wasting my life in a way and you know, that might be true, but I mean, at least it's fun and I've learned to just make sure I'm having fun at all times, you know? My whole channel has been a roller coaster, like with the way I commentate, my thumbnails, everything, but I'm glad everything happened the way it did. Okay, let's see if I can TNT jump. That works. <laughs> GG. But for real, it's been such a long year of me doing YouTube. Like, I've grinded so much Bed Wars and quarantine life is just crazy. But quarantine gave me an opportunity with YouTube that I will be forever grateful for. When I started YouTube, I told myself I wouldn't really tell anybody. I mean, I told my family because every time you upload, you kill your Wi-Fi. 
so my parents would have noticed purely because of that and also if they heard me talking to myself i'm sure they would think i was crazy so i think just telling them would make life easier and i don't regret that because they're very supportive i wasn't planning on telling any of my online friends or in real life friends actually no that's a lie i was planning on telling one of my in real life friends but i'll elaborate that more in a minute but like somehow like everybody found out anyways like i didn't want to tell people just because i thought it was way too embarrassing but it turns out everyone found it anyways they found out in the most bizarre ways too but it's whatever like my irl friend group and like all of my online friends basically all know about my youtube so that kind of flopped i actually was going to tell one of my irls about youtube possibly on her birthday because she's basically the reason i started youtube she wanted to see how i played minecraft so i figured out how to record and i was going to make a montage for her the montage ended up really bad so i didn't end up ever showing it to her but with that i did learn how to record and edit and i learned that i really enjoyed recording and editing so from that i kind of decided to try out youtube a lot went into why i started youtube like on top of that i just wanted to play more minecraft because i was wasting a lot of my life just playing minecraft and doing nothing with it so i figured youtube would be a good excuse to play more minecraft and you know it was a good excuse to play more minecraft it was also because i was bored because when i wasn't playing with my minecraft friends i had virtually nothing to do so you know i learned that once people f like learned of my in-game name it was inevitable that they would find my youtube oh my gosh i did not expect to kill that person there like once they knew my ign it was like a time bomb that they would find my youtube because it's gonna come in their recommendations eventually for the most part or their curiosity is gonna get the best of them okay he's gonna get my bed that's unfortunate but it's whatever so usually when my online friends would find my youtube at first i like freaked out and basically had a heart attack i was like oh no i'm so embarrassed but it started happening so much that i started to not care but when my in real life friends found my youtube i like uh that was not a good day for me but yeah overall i'm like really glad i did youtube and thanks to everyone you've all been amazing <laughs> This feels like it's gonna be such a short video because I didn't really have that much to say. Like my two games were- my first two games were so short. Okay, I hate fireballs with a passion. Actually, no I don't, but I hate that this person is just using fireballs on me. Okay, I triggered their trap so I can go up now. I'll just invis right here, I don't care. They definitely know. Okay, I can definitely get their bed here, that's for sure. And I'll just go in. No, I need to get out of here. Please land. Too close, too close. I played that really poorly. I should have just hit them, but I was too dedicated on not hitting them. <laughs> I just have to make sure I don't jump off by myself. Oh yeah, he is on top of this balloon. I should have got on the KB stick. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.